Ah! <laughs> so, so this is a giant ice pie. Holy crap. I want to picture that. Too. I'm recording, so. <laughs> <laughs> this talking. is a Ballynomus. And Ballynomus is, um, it's the same kind of animal as uh, the little roly-poly that's in your, your backyard. That's a, it's an isopod. Um, but rather than, you know, sort of adopting more of a cryptic lifestyle, these have become quite large. And, um, you know, and they're primarily deep sea uh, animals. Uh, they occur all over the world, probably in, the, in about the 300 to 3,000 meter range, give about. Um, and, um, you know, uh, there are, uh, uh, these are actually sort of fragile animals because, I mean, not, not physically fragile, but, <clears throat> for example, I was reading just the other day that the eyes are easily, they're so acclimated to deep sea living that they're actually damaged, just physically coming up. I mean, when they're presented, when they're shown to sunlight, the, uh, the light actually um, traumatizes the, the eye mechanism. So, and then, and then these, I don't think, I'm not sure if this one is, but um, the, they, they, pre, they disproportionately collect females over males. Um, because of the way they live. I think the females actually dig in someplace and so they're collected by trawls when they come. But I mean just the other day I was watching YouTube and you can see these now on on video just mm -hmm. watching you can feed them meat and they just go after it. I mean there's there's beautiful video footage of these things just going after big carcasses of things on the deep sea floor and I think the Enoshima Aquarium in Japan keeps these on exhibit now long term. But just as an example of how how kind of um, long how 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 even things in the deep sea are are not um invisible to things that we do on the surface um they've actually found uh plastic in the gut contents of these so you know they they are uh, uh not immune to influences from the surface